Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys more than 10 tips and tricks that will help you customize your iPhone's home screen like a pro. Make your iPhone stand out and have a really cool home screen by using these tips and tricks that you will see on this video. Now, another trick on this video is the like button. You can find it just underneath this video and it is really helpful. It will help this video do much, much better. And if you enjoy the videos and you want to help the channel do much better, make sure to subscribe because most of you guys that currently watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So make sure to do so. It will really help out a lot. We're starting things off with widgets. So let's say I want to place this widget on the home screen of my device. Of course, I can drag this or just add it, but I have enough space right here at the bottom, but iOS won't actually let me do that. It will automatically place it here or I will have to place it right there at the top. Well, there is a trick to actually placing the widget anywhere you want on your home screen. So let's just remove this. Now, what we need to do right now is head on to the app library right here. In this case, we we'll have a bunch of free space right there. I can just go ahead and grab a few icons, like four of them from here and just place them here. Now let's go ahead and bring back the widget here on the home screen. So here we have the widget. Now what I need to do is just drag it right here. Now, of course, I can place it at the bottom, but I will have these icons that I just put on the home screen that I, of course, don't want to have there. Just go out of the edit mode, go back into the edit mode and then just drag the icons like you just did before, bring them back to the app library. And when we go back to the home screen, you can see right here. Now we have the widget. It is placed right here at the bottom and it looks actually really cool. Now you can do this with smaller widgets as well. Just make sure you fill the space here, the space that is empty with icons and then place the widget, go out of the edit mode, go back into the edit mode, remove the icons and you're good to go. The widget will stay wherever you want on the home screen. Now, when it comes to customizing your home screen, of course, a big part of that will be wallpapers. Well, getting the right wallpapers will make your home screen look really cool. And you can find some of them right here under this app called Wallpaper Central. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video. Now, if you want to have a really cool home screen, I suggest you go to collections right here. Scroll down until you find Pixel Perfect. Now, Pixel Perfect is right here, collection of wallpapers. You can see right here that is actually made especially for the home screen of your device. It will make the home screen of your device look really interesting. Something like this. You can see you will have the outlines right there. You have one for the icons. You will have one for the dock here. You will have a bunch of different wallpapers like this one right here. As you can see it adds that line around the screen of your iPhone. Really cool. Of course, you can download it simply by tapping it here and then go ahead, set it as wallpaper. Just make sure you basically turn off motion when setting the wallpaper and you're good to go. You will have other ones like this one that will add those shadows right here to the icons and the widget, of course, and you will have this cool effect right here on the dock. So an amazing app. It is free and you can have a bunch of really cool wallpapers that will make your home screen look much, much different than other devices. Now, this what you see right here is a very popular setup that a lot of people will do on their iPhone. Now, it looks good, but with this wallpaper, it actually doesn't look that good. Well, I will show you guys a simple shortcut, which I also showed you guys on a previous video that I did that will make a huge difference when it comes to having this setup on your home screen. So install the shortcut, which of course you will find right down below in the description of the video is the shortcut right here. You run it and pick any wallpaper that you want to set from the photo library. Once you have picked your wallpaper, it will show you a pop up, which will basically let you choose which side of the wallpaper you want to blur. So let's say we want to blur the side where the widgets are. So we go with the left side right here and you're good to go. That's all you have to do. The shortcut will do the rest. And here we have the wallpaper. It's actually now done. It is created. What we can do is tap the dumb button right here, tap on save photo. So let's just save it to the camera roll. And let's go ahead and set it as a wallpaper. And you can see right here, all we have to do now is use this as a wallpaper. Tap right here to disable perspective zoom set it on the home screen and we're good to go. 
when we go to the home screen you can see now how good that looks we have this part right here with the widgets of course it is blurred and you will have that part right there with the icons which looks really really awesome the next trick you can do on the home screen is have a totally blank home screen like have nothing there there is a way to do that so what you need to do first of all go to the edit mode here just grab random icon from the app library and place it right here on the home screen now let's go ahead and remove the icons from the dock so let's just, let me just place them right here and what we need to do now is go to the edit pages screen and just remove those two home screen pages that we have now we are left with just one page and we have right here just one icon this is simple just go ahead and drag this icon to the app library and you will see right now we have nothing on the home screen but it gets much better you can apply a wallpaper from a web page which i will leave linked right down below in the description of the video and that will pretty much hide the dock and everything on your home screen so let's just apply the wallpaper so this is that special wallpaper that we can apply now to the home screen so use this as a wallpaper and just disable perspective zoom right here click set and you're good to go and you can see now when we go to the home screen there is nothing there pretty much an empty page so right here we have the spotlight here we have the app library there is nothing there now if you want to bring back everything what you need to do first of all head on to the app library just drag an icon right here to the home screen to see these two dots and of course tap on the two dots and you can go ahead and enable the pages from here so let's just do that and of course we have back all of our apps now one cool thing that you can do with ios 15 is that you can also have multiple icons for the same app on any page that you have on your device so let's say i want to have multiple icons for notes for example i can go ahead and have the notes icon right here i still do have it here on the first page but i will have it here as well so we have two now so let's just remove this from the home screen so you can see I have two icons. So I can place one on the dock and have one on the page or I can have an icon on each page that I have on the home screen of my device. That's really cool. Some apps are just apps that you use a lot and you might just wanna have them at your finger all the time. You can just have an icon for that app on each page on your home screen. And now let me show you guys something really cool. Now this might seem a bit complicated but if you just follow the steps one by one, it will be really easy and you will get the hang of it in a matter of minutes and it won't be a problem in the future for you to do this. This is a shortcut called Home Creator. Now what Home Creator does, it allows you to create amazing setups on the home screen of your device. You can add like different borders you can see around the icons and the dock. You can add shadows, depths, basically have a 3D look on the home screen of your device so go ahead and head on to this website which i will leave linked right down below in the description of the video and from here just go ahead and tap get to get this shortcut you will also find here like different explanations on how to use this and of course if you don't find anything on the video you basically think that something is not clear you can go ahead and check the website right you will have all the instructions there but just make sure you follow the steps one by one and you should be good to go so what you will need to do after you installed the shortcut just go ahead and run it and basically just choose your device right here the device model and then from here just tap basically allow on pretty much anything download the content right there click allow so what you will need to do once the content has been downloaded is unzip it it will take you to the files app from there you will find the zip file and unzip it so let's just wait for that to finish right here so it is finished click ok it will take us right here to the files app you need to go to your icloud drive and go to shortcuts and go right here age sc tap right there and then you will have the content zip tap on it and wait for it to unzip right here now that the content has been unzipped go back to the shortcuts app and run home screen creator now what you need to do here is build a layout for your wallpaper so just tap on yes add elements and right here you will need to choose 
what you want to create. So you will have layout one right here. In this case, this is the one that I have created before. But what you can do is go ahead and choose here what you want to do. So we want to add icons to the wallpaper. So we go here, we have like bumps, we have like shadows, we have shadow for shadow right shadow short all that stuff so let's just go with shadow four and you can see we can add these shadows based on where we have the icons placed on our home screen so if you have let's say the on the first row in this case the first two rows if you have like a widget there you choose this one so the two the three and the four row will be icons so it will add those shadows on the wallpaper but let's just say we want to create a simple one we want to add shadows for a web for, for a home page that we have all icons just tap right there on all and what you will need to do now is tap on done and select your wallpaper from the photo library now once you have added that shadow first of all just save the wallpaper here save the layout right there and go ahead and then choose wallpaper once you choose the wallpaper you can go ahead and choose whether you want to have that card just around the icons you want to card the dock or hide the notch so let's just add this here so it looks pretty cool and tap on allow right there and now it will show you the wallpaper with that effect applied to the wallpaper so click done and now you will have also the shadows right here you can see how cool that looks click done again and what you need to do now is save the photo from here and you're good to go so now let's go ahead and just tap always allow right there let's go ahead and apply this to the home screen and see how it looks so there we have the wallpaper we just created let's go ahead and apply this as a wallpaper so use this wallpaper just go ahead and pinch in here just like this and then tap on set now we have set it that on the home screen and you can see how cool that looks it adds those shadows right here to the icons and you will have these cards around the icons here and around the dock now a little trick that i use with this shortcut is that if you think the shadows are not strong enough you can do the process all over again and apply the shadows to the to this wallpaper that you have just created not to the original wallpaper but to this one and you will have like much much stronger shadows behind the icons now of course to customize the home screen of your device one of the best ways is of course to add icons to the home screen of course have custom icons for your apps well themify is one of the apps that will allow to download pretty much like icons for all of the apps that you have on your device and of course custom like third party apps as well so right here we'll have new you will have dark you will have retro you will have all kinds of different categories some of the themes are paid some are free so you can go ahead and download them to your device so let's just go to the popular ones right here let's just find one that we like so let's just go ahead and try one here let's go with this so what you need to do is tap on save and it will show you right here all the icons for your apps now you can choose them right here and of course install them just install selected icons or you can do that one by one so let's just go ahead and install these so tap right here install selected icons tap on continue and this will basically download a profile to your device so you go ahead and go to your settings go to general and right here vpn and device management you will find the profile right here tap on install enter your passcode once you have done that there you go you will have the icons on your device you tap on the icon of course it opens the app but it will have that redirection which you can get rid of kind of by going to settings go right here under accessibility and then go to motion and enable reduce motion and you can go ahead and have basically that open way way faster without actually having that redirect effect now another app that i use for this kind of stuff is called moloco this is pretty cool as well it has some really really nice themes that you can use on your device so you have the themes right here you can just go ahead and choose to download any of them tap on get and it will have two options you can download system apps or third-party apps simply by tapping here it will again just al allow to install a profile and it will install an entire theme on your device as easy as that head on to settings from here general vpn and device management 
here we have the theme tap on install again add the passcode and there we go we have a full theme installed on our device and it actually looks pretty cool and these work even better you can see how easy it is to open apps with this it has just like that smooth effect and it actually looks pretty cool now if you want to remove any of these from your home screen all you have to do is go to the theme tap on remove profile enter your passcode and it will remove the entire icons now with iOS 15, there's another way to customize the home screen look on your device and that's by changing the label size. And you can do that for your home screen only. Head on to the control center, tap on the AA button, choose home screen only right here and you can make the size of the labels way smaller, 80% from 100%. Of course, if you want to, you can make them bigger, but it doesn't look that good. By making them smaller, it will make the home screen look much, much cleaner. And last but not least, I will show you guys how to create transparent widgets for the home screen of your device. For that to happen, you will need to use this free app called Widget. So install the app, go to your home screen, go to the edit mode and just swipe to the last page where there are no icons, take a screenshot and then head on to Widget. And what you need to do is go to manage and set transparent background from here. Just load the picture we just took, basically the screenshot. Once you have loaded the screenshots from here, you will be able to actually go ahead and choose your widget so you can explore here and find different widgets once you have added a widget you tap on the slot where you want to add that widget you can tap on it and choose the position where you want to place that widget on the home screen so we have it there and now from here all we have to do is just go ahead and apply this widget to the home screen so here we have the widget tap on add widget and just right there it loads and you can see now we have a custom widget which has a transparent background on the home screen so that's basically it for this video guys thank you guys for watching these are a few tips and tricks that will help you customize your iphone's home screen like a pro in 2022 thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one